So I have a couple very special guests that I am absolutely so psyched. Excited. I think some of you guys have met them, maybe not in person, but um, we have two of our youngest donors and supporters Yay. who gave $250, which was ending up being matched. So a $500 donation from these two ladies. Um, again, some of our youngest and most passionate young supporters of Faraway Friends. And I'm we are so cry. excited know, so to bring them on to the live stream <laughs> and hear from them about why they love Faraway Friends and what their visions are for traveling and going to Uganda someday. Um, I would love to introduce, and I'm going to first make sure my audio is on so that we can hear them just as well as you guys can. Give me one second. There we go. Test. <gasps> Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. We are going to introduce you to <gasps> Annabelle and Julia. Yay! How are you guys? We're good. I sorry I had myself on mute because uh because I didn't want to interrupt anything. But uh um, so good to see so you guys. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? Good. good. <laughs> so Annabelle, I have a question for you. You have been a Faraway Friends supporter for many, many years. I have known you since you were in kindergarten, in fact. You were five years old when we met. And how old is she now? How old are you now, Annabelle? You're 11. 11. She's 11. <gasps> wow. Wow. So Annabelle would make, or she donated her time at Aftercare making posters for Faraway Friends, giving me um, marketing ideas. She helped oh, me with a lot of so the design sweet. of a lot of campaigns. If I had a question about like, man, Annabelle, I don't know. I don't know how this campaign's going to go. She was always encouraging me, encouraging me and rooting me on. So <laughs> Annabelle, I, I would know. love, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm crying already. <laughs> so I would love, and Juliet, after Annabelle speaks, I would love for you to introduce yourself if you feel okay. up to it. Can you, Annabelle, tell me about who you are, how old you are, where you go to school, or what grade you're in, and why why you're passionate about Faraway Friends. Hello, I'm Annabelle, and I'm 11 years old, and I go to Highland Academy Southeast. And uh, I've known Jamie uh, since uh, when I was five years old, and it was very, uh, well, we met each other, and it, it just clicked, basically. And we... <laughs> And uh, and I've known her, and then she left uh, the year of fifth grade to work on what she was passionate about, and I really agree with that. So, um, and then I and I talked to my mom about this. She's right here. Here's mommy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and uh, I talked to my mom about donating and what uh, I was passionate about with this specific right. charity, and uh, she. She and I and my little sister, uh, and we just came together and uh, looked at what we wanted to donate and what we wanted to do, and then we did it. And Annabelle, you have participated in Market Day Fund, and you were the one that convinced your mom to become an advocate. Is that right? Yes, I was. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Okay, and you have a very special person sitting next to you, and I would love to hear from her as well. This is, go ahead, Julia. You can do it. You can do it. It's just Jamie. It's just Jamie. It's just, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> it's just me, Juliet. Okay, Annabelle, you introduce this lovely woman sitting next to you, please. So this is my little sister. She, uh, okay. her name is Juliet, and she's eight years old, and she goes to Highland Academy Southeast. And also, uh, she met Jamie when she was very little, also, and uh, she really likes Jamie. And um, and uh, we also, uh, she also convinced my mom to become an advocate for. Yeah. <laughs> Juliet, is it isn't it true? You have come, Juliet's come to all of our Chipotle fundraisers. She's been to several Faraway Friends fundraisers since she was very young, right? That's right. Yes. So these are two of our youngest easily supporters easily. of Faraway Friends. Youngest and most fierce. Most fierce. Supporters. Yes, definitely. So Annabelle, my question to you is when are you gonna come to Uganda with us? Well, uh, we talked about this very early on when Jamie was still in aftercare at Belmar. Uh, we said that I would go when I was 16 and when I learned to drive, but 
uh, with my mom's and my dad's permission, of course. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Do you but, think your uh, mom will ever come out with us too? Of course, maybe. Of course. Beautiful. So, okay. So Annabelle, do you have any ideas for dares that we can complete for the rest of the afternoon? We need yeah. some ideas. Oh, Julia has this break. That was crazy. Like, Julia knows something. Something. Yeah, like, something. You know it? You want to say it? Or do you want me Go to? Go ahead. Do you want me to Let do it? Dip your face in pie. Dip your face in pie? We should have got whipped cream. A whole pie. Okay. I, think about that. I think I might have to run to the store and get some whipped cream so we can pie ourselves in the face in your should honor. Should we get some whipped cream? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to go get some whipped cream. Whipped cream. Yeah. Santa's going to do it. We could, I bet we we'll make it happen. happen. We yeah. Can. We could. She we also could watches a lot of YouTube videos of dares. So she is the one to ask for dares. <laughs> Let us know if you think of another one that you want yeah. us to do because we're, we're mostly here to embarrass ourselves. Did you, yeah. did you guys see any of our. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, we yeah. got another one. She's got another one. <laughs> Draw beards and oh. mustaches on your face. <laughs> we can That's do that. Classic, do that. Julia. We We've do done that. that before. That is an absolute <laughs> classic. Way to go. Well, I just want to thank you guys so much for the absolutely incredible donation that you made earlier today. That was doubled. Everyone deserves an education. That's why you donate. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> my mom just told me about this. Uh, the reason we I convinced my mom and all of us convinced my mom to become an advocate is I think everybody deserves an advocation, education, and a voice. Yes. So I uh, so I asked my mom if I could if she and all of my family. Uh, Brian's downstairs, uh, but uh, we. Really think everybody deserves a education and voice, so Us that's too. why we became one. So that's awesome, we, Annabelle. We're so proud of you. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm one like, more dare, one more, <laughs> one more. Yes, we're ready. So you have to shove your mouth with five big marshmallows. <laughs> oh, five chubby buddy! Big marshmallows. Yeah, we could definitely do that. My I think we could do goodness. more than five. Easily, <laughs> we gotta do that goodness. one. Yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna you have to go our and get evil tuned. mastermind. So Julia. now that you guys <laughs> have met Annabelle and Juliet, can you like are these not the next yeah. world changing? Yeah. Yes, yes. You guys, absolutely you're amazing. amazing. You're amazing. So proud of you guys. Thank you for coming on our live stream. We are going to see if we can door dash some items to get here to do your dares. So I'll text your mom if we're gonna do your dares on live stream. Okay. Okay, so see you Sounds good. See you in Uganda. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Yay. I love them so much. They're the best. <laughs> so you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so sweet. Like the best. Oh you guys just Literally met. like the best. They want to come hang out with us? <laughs> and also like way smart her, for their like, age. so smart. Yeah. She was so, she was. She's so this well spoken. When, when Jamie worked at Belmar, yeah. so well, well spoken. spoken. Also, yes. I think that everyone should have a right to education. Yes. It's like my heart. And like, like oh, those two are really amazing because their mother, who raised them, is equally as amazing. Oh, so we I need to give that. a shout out to Rachel Guy, who is raising Thank some you, of Rachel my Guy. Yes. world changers. Those two women may become president one day, and I would one hundred percent vote for them. <laughs> yeah. Ah, they're back! Hey, oh look. They're <laughs> muted though. <laughs> She's gonna tell you why. My dad, I can drop oh. off the marshmallows. We're muted. Mom oh, Juliet really wants to be president someday, and she has a really good reason why. So she's gonna tell everyone. Because, because a lot of the time people pollute our oceans and try to kill animals, which isn't people good. That are what color different? and treat people that are a different color, not nice. Oh, so is this not a girl after all? Really. I'm gonna be, become president and sign a law that you're not allowed to shoot animals, pollute your water, or be racist. Yes! 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 Yes!
Love you guys. Julia for president. Julia, Julia for president. For president. <laughs> Amazing. That was so sweet. <laughs> that's that's my whole that's heart. Like literally, like literally Julia life. for president. <laughs> like <laughs> now, like okay. right now. Look at Connor. <laughs> Connor says my heart. No, literally. I'm telling you right now. Oh my so gosh. Sweet. Those two are our tiniest supporters and have never missed a fundraiser, have showed up to every single, every single thing we've ever done. Annabelle is a cerebral palsy warrior. She is just one of the most inspiring and amazing young women I've ever met. And I hope she writes a book one day because we're all going to buy it. And also, I hope she writes a book right now. <laughs> I mean, if Annabelle was eight when you met, then that means that Juliet was, was five. Like five. Annabelle was five? Juliet was three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. These kids are amazing. You guys oh, like wow. they give me hope for the next generation of leaders of this world. And that's exactly why we're investing in places like global leaders that are not on the map. These kids don't have the same opportunities that kids in this country can enjoy. And if we're able to invest in the dreams of these kids, what they're about to accomplish is incredible. In Uganda, 60% of Uganda's population is under the age of 18. That means in the next 20 years, we're going to see a huge population of young people who have the power to vote, who have the power to run businesses. If we are able to make sure that they have all of the resources they need to become conscious, conscientious, global citizens, the, the dividends we're going to see from that investment are going to be absolutely massive. So- yeah. You guys don't.